Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video. And today we're going to be taking a quick look at Polygon Matic up 4.6% right now as we get going to the higher prices over here on the left side. We are obviously going to continue to see decreases across Polygon if we continue downward on the right side. So we are seeing some possibilities for a decrease in the last 24 hours, but right now we are sitting at a 4.6% increase in the last 24 hours. And I think we're going to continue to see some good things come out of Polygon. If we take a look at the last week, we actually see a 9.96% increase. Coming from you know about a dollar thirty six now into dollar thirty seven. Um, realistically, we are going to continue to see some great price increases for Polygon in the near future. I think realistically as well, June is going to be a rough month for all altcoins. We talked about this manipulation FUD and accumulation stage for altcoins that is going to be taking place in June. July is one of those months that we have a possibility of breaking out. So we're going to be talking about our price predictions for Polygon specifically at the end of the video, obviously for June, July, and really 2021 and the end of the bull market as well. So we'll definitely mention about where we think Polygon's going to end up. I do want to say, guys, if you don't know, we talk about, like I said, Polygon pretty much daily on the channel as well as so many other altcoins. So if you want to stay up to date with Polygon or other altcoins, make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and like the video. Polygon was formerly called the Matic Network. Polygon Matic is an Ethereum token that powers the Polygon Network, a scaling solution for Ethereum. Polygon aims to provide faster and cheaper transactions on Ethereum using Layer 2 sidechains, which are blockchains that run alongside the Ethereum main chain. Users can deposit Ethereum tokens to a Polygon smart contract, interact with them within Polygon, and then later withdraw them back to the Ethereum main chain. So the Matic token is used to pay transaction fees and participate in proof of stake consensus. So as Ethereum obviously gets bigger and bigger, Polygon is going to be continued uh, really on and getting really more use cases and utility behind it. I think realistically, Polygon is going to continue to do very, very well. It's going to be a necessity as we continue to grow that Ethereum ecosystem as well. So jumping into the first tweet today, it talks about Nord Savings V2 launching on Polygon. Users from the Polygon ecosystem will access two features of Nord Savings, obviously low-cost transactions, optimal return on investment, high-speed APY boost for Nord holders as well, launching 21st of June. This is definitely going to be a big deal. And I think realistically, we're going to continue to see some great partnerships, integrations taking place with Polygon because everybody wants a piece of Polygon. Everyone wants to be you know, a part of what Polygon has and what they're continuing to offer. So jumping into the next one, we see Polygon lending, wealth management, aggregate mining, and much more on Polygon with Forb Tube Fi, decentralized cryptocurrency bank. So Forb Tube will support lending services and launch mining campaigns on Polygon assets. So like I said, big, really big, uh, you know, integrations and partnerships taking place every single day. And we cover these, like I said, pretty much daily on the channel. So we can really talk about how big of an impact some of these have over some other ones. So Daffy Protocol is one of those fairly large protocols that has 33.2K followers reinventing every decentralized network via super staking. So Daffy Protocol actually is set to launch super staking on Polygon. Uh, we also see UMA Protocol, which obviously you guys know is 40.2K followers. We talked about UMA Protocol before on the channel. It's a massive, massive protocol that talks more about a decentralized financial contracts platform built to enable universal market access, and it's going to be scaling on a polygon as well. So a great partnership yet again. And we're seeing obviously a lot of people trying to take advantage of the full stack scaling solution. And uh, that's exactly what we're seeing here. So we have another great partnership. The Kyber Network is launching Rainmaker, its very first liquidity mining program on Polygon in Ethereum with an estimated $30 million in rewards to enhance DeFi liquidity. We jump on to the next one. We see, would we like to welcome one of the most respected and collaborative teams in, the, in this space? the Honey Swap team to Polygon. So DeFi Summer is just getting started here. Honeycomb is expanding to Polygon. We also have one more thing to talk about. This is one of the biggest parts of actually what Polygon has to offer just here recently. It's thrilled to have received more than 220 plus incredible applications to our Polygon Advocates program. This is your chance to grow and work with the tight-knit Polygon community around the world and grow the Ethereum ecosystem. So they're inviting you to Polygon Advocates, your chance to take Polygon to a whole new level. And we're not going to jump too much into that but like i said 220 plus incredible applications to the polygon advocates program so that's quite a bit obviously jumping in and trying to take advantage of that polygon advocates program jumping down to my own tweets though i do want to take a look at this one i am trying to give back to you guys as we get closer and closer to 100k subscribers i'm trying to give back by giving you guys an opportunity to win 1k worth of jacks tokens and 1k worth of same coin tokens there will be two lucky winners so make sure to follow me so i can dm you if you win all you have to do is retweet this tweet 
and follow me to be entered. So this ends July 10th, 2021. Like I said, definitely take advantage of this. I do want to give back to you guys that have been watching this channel religiously. You guys are the reason this, you know, is so fun to talk about crypto every single day. Jumping into uh, our actual Polygon chart here, I do want to take a look at the actual website real quick and give you guys a brief understanding if you guys don't know what Polygon really is. Uh, it's Ethereum's internet of blockchain. So Polygon is a protocol and a framework for building and connecting Ethereum-compatible blockchain networks, aggregating scalable solutions on Ethereum, supporting a multi-chain Ethereum ecosystem. If we go down to some of the features, this is some of the things that we want to touch on. So ETH compatibility, obviously, we have the scalability, security, sovereignty, interoperability, user experience, developer experience, and modularity. So a lot of features out there that are giving these projects big boost. And the projects include things like Polygon, or sorry, Poly Market, Avagachi, Decentral Game, Sports X, EasyFi, and Neon Districts. And those are just some of the many projects that already use the Polygon architecture. Obviously, there are so many different projects taking advantage and starting to integrate with Polygon specifically for that scalability and solution to obviously Ethereum. And we're seeing more and more projects really starting to jump on that Ethereum network as Ethereum's gas fees have been slowly, you know, deteriorating uh, or getting a little bit lower at the very least cost wise. So jumping into Polygon right now, I do want to give it a quick refresh. We're seeing a dollar 38, a 4% increase in the last 24 hours. It looks like we did have a little spike from uh, that dollar 36 to a dollar 40 or sorry, dollar 38. So it down, uh, it went up two per two cents, I guess. So not a huge spike. I was ex assuming it was four cents because I saw the 4%, but you know, that was obviously not the truth or the case there. So we see an $8.6 billion market cap, a $1 billion volume in the last 24 hours. Polygon, definitely one of those coins that a lot of short-term traders are still taking advantage of because of the volatility you can see in the last 24 hours. There's a great amount of dips that, uh, like I said, short-term traders can take advantage of if they understand how to read the market. Obviously, not always going to be the case with manipulation and FUD out there. TA is not always going to save you um, because, like I said, manipulation is one of those things you cannot predict. Jumping into June, though, I do think we are going to see Polygon really struggle with, you know, many other altcoins. We're going to see Polygon hopefully push closer to about $1.45 to $1.50. I think realistically, though, conservatively, I'm going to say right between $1.35 and $1.45 is going to be where we're going to be staying around for Polygon by the end of June. I think we're not going to see much of an increase in many, many altcoins, unfortunately. We could see a slow to, uh, you know, medium uptrend during this sideways really trend that we're going to have for most of the late June. And I think realistically Polygon could move to about $1.45. If it doesn't, you know, right between that $1.35, $1.45 range is where I expect it. Going into the end of July, we do have a chance to break out late July. I would say about July 25th to the July 27th. We've been talking about those dates specifically. Uh, that's just where I believe we have a chance of breaking out. And if we do break out, I think Polygon specifically has a shot of breaking closer and closer to about a $2 to $2.20, uh, I guess $2 is really the price target. I was going to say $2.25, but uh, realistically, I'm going to give you guys my conservative price prediction. $2 is a price target for Polygon uh, by the end of July. I do think realistically, though, guys, we are going to be right between $1.75 and $2 by the end of July at the very least. So I'm thinking if we you know, do have more manipulation FUD that really keeps this accumulation phase around, Polygon's still going to struggle, struggle just like the month of uh, June specifically. Like I said, June's not going to move much. I think July could definitely do the same thing and not move much, depending if we still have that manipulation or FUD. So like I said, we'll keep you guys up to date with price predictions, as well as that manipulation FUD accumulation stage that we're currently in and see when we're going to break out. And I will definitely let you guys know as soon as I know if uh, we are breaking out or it looks like we have a bullish looking market coming ahead. Jumping into the end of 2021 or the end of the bull market, I think realistically Polygon's going to make it back to its previous all-time high of 268. I think it's going to actually be pushing close to a $3 price point by the end the bull market at the very, very least. Realistically, I see Polygon pushing closer to about a 6 to $8 price point by the end of the bull market. So that's going to be my price prediction for you guys. My realistic conservative price predictions that, uh, you know, I always try to stay really transparent as much as possible with you guys when it comes to them because I hate the 100 X's on Polygon. Unfortunately, Polygon has a market cap of $8.6 billion. So you're not going to be seeing a 100 X on Polygon this year. That may be, you know, in five, 10 years, but you're not going to see it this year. So thank you guys again for tuning in. I'll see you guys all in the next one.